Well, hello, and welcome to Real Talk with Durand. Um, so I wanted to talk about a few things. First of all, um, just because you are a fan and or follower of someone's work does not mean that you have to approve of and or like everything that they do. Three examples. Number one, I've gotten plenty of messages from people saying they like my talking blogs, but they don't watch my singing videos or... Duran, I really like your singing videos, but I don't like your talking vlogs. And you know what? That is fine. You know, there's a plethora of everything that everyone can enjoy, you know, and you don't have to like everything and you still support me, and that's fine. As long as I have something to keep you around. Second example. I am a huge Khalees fan. Huge! I've been down with her since 1999. Since she was had her friggin' hair all out and color dyes and she was in the straight jacket screaming, I hate you so much right now, being caught out there. I've been a fan, been down with her, even paid thirty dollars for her second album, Wonderland, that she only released over the States. Then when she released Tasty, they released it here for fourteen ninety nine, but I don't regret it. I'm a big fan and supporter of her. But that Khalees album, that Khalees was here, that was that album was a big cup of Are you trying to poison me? Granted, there are a few tracks on there that I like, but overall, it was a big no. 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 Third example. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Quadir, Mr. Quadir Howard. He's a very interesting individual who speaks his mind, and he is so fearless, right? And so he made a video um, about... Uh, discussing some things that he did not care for that Beyonce was doing in her career. Now, mind you, he's a big fan of hers because he sang her songs, he done danced to her stuff, you know. Um, he stated how uh, he didn't care for some of the tracks on I Am Sasha Fierce. But regardless if he didn't agree with them or not, he was still going to buy the album and support it. Um, and that's just being nice compared to what he really said. But I digress. You don't have to like everything that your favorite actor, your favorite dancer, singer, artist, whatever it is. You don't have to like everything. The, and, and, and let me just say this. There is a difference between a fan slash supporter and then a groupie slash stan. A fan slash supporter is someone who likes the artist, supports them, but if they don't, like what they came out with, that's fine. Are they still going to love them? Yes. Are they still going to support them? Yes. But that doesn't mean that they have to be robots and say, oh, I only like everything that you come out with and there is nothing bad. No. No, not at all. They're going to they're gonna speak their mind and be honest. Now a, now a groupie slash Stan, there ain't nothing else but good that the person can do. Everything that they do is good. Flat out, they the, the 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 singer that they like, they could be singing about toilet water, and they could be like, "Ooh, that's a hit. That is a hit." So, with that being said, now I want to talk about: Can you be friends still with someone if you think that the career choice that they're pursuing or something that they like to do sucks? Can you still like your friend, or can you still be friends with someone if? They want to do fashion design, and their fashion designs look like booty lint. Or someone who, uh, someone dances like how I play basketball, and I can't dribble. Or someone that is your friend that you love to death that wants to sing, and they're so weak that they couldn't barely carry a note. Can you still be friends with them? Can you still love them? Absolutely! Do you still support them? Yes, because that's your friend. Love them. But if they ask for your opinion, be honest. Be honest. Baby, uh, this design is not the business. If you have a friend that want to do hair and their hair, the hairdo that they do looks like they kicked the person in the head and said, that'll be $90. No, not at all. But you still love them. You still love them and support them, even though it may not be good. But you can still be friends with that person. So, um, that's all. For today and um yeah i hope this helped some people in those areas yes so just because you're a fan of someone's work does that mean you have to like everything that they do and can you be 
friends still? Can you still love someone and you think that what they like to do sucks? Yes, you can. And I'm out of time.